According to crypto trader and analyst Dan Garmadello, the question of whether Cardano ADA will ever become dominant in the cryptocurrency space is greatly important. In a recent video, there was an analysis of ADA dominance chart and a macro context was presented considering Bitcoin's dominance and historical patterns. This indicator might be a boring one, but ignoring it in all other ones is something that we can't afford to do at this current moment in time. The dominance of Cardano mounted to more than fourfold in 2021, although figures in November 2021 were lower than at the end of August, and within this crypto world, this so-called dominance ratio is one of the oldest and most investigated metrics available. It effectively measures the coin's market cap relative to the general crypto market. For example, it exposes Bitcoin's level of strength compared to other cryptocurrencies that are not Bitcoin, notably referred to as altcoins. In the case of Cardano, the dominance reveals its growing popularity as an alternative to Ethereum. Cardano claims to have everything Ethereum has ever prayed for, but will they be enough to suppress Ethereum's booming dominance? Some of the major bonuses that helped Cardano keep warm during the harsh crypto winter last year were the constant local resistance testings and a solid recovery plan. Last year was pretty rough on Cardano, and other cryptocurrencies as well. Most leading coins struggled to stay afloat, but Cardano won the record of being the one of the most profitable cryptos. 2023 came with its difficulty for cryptocurrencies, and Cardano had its fair share of misfortune as well. However, recently Benjamin Cowan, CEO and founder of ITC Crypto, shared his perspective on ADA's current condition. The crypto world is constantly evolving, and market resilience is often a key determiner of long-term value and growth. Cowan underscored this premise and acknowledged Cardano for his performance amid the prevailing crypto bear market. So in a series of tweets, Cowan shared insights comparing ADA's present performance with its records, including implications for ADA investors and potential adopters. Benjamin's analysis noted that Cardano's resilience in the current bear market outpaced its performance during the 2018-2020 bearish season. Using a snapshot of ADA's return of investment to illustrate this, two distinct trends were addressed. He tweeted, Comparing ADA bear markets, blue line, January 2018 to March of 2020, orange line, September 2021 to present. So far, we are seeing diminishing losses as the function of time. The orange line will reach the length of the blue line on November 13th, 2023. The snapshot revealed a blue line depicting the bear market spanning from January 2018 to March of 2020. While the orange line indicated a trend of diminishing losses over time, the crypto expert's observations suggest a slower rate of decline for ADA in this bear market. In contrast to its previous cycles, certain predictions suggest that the end of the current cycle are around November 14th, 2023, when the orange line is expected to reach the same length as the blue line. These insights could spur a less severe impact on ADA's price and the present bear market compared to the previous one. The broader analysis paints a picture of enhanced market resilience in Cardano. This is also evident in other coins in the market. Recently, more than $500 million have been added to ADA's market cap following the asset market capitalization surge from $9.1 billion. It has also witnessed a surge in its trading volume, suggesting rising trading activity. Now, the sweetest part is that Cardano's resilience in this harsh period is unbeatable. Its ability to navigate bear markets with diminishing losses justifies its resilience and inherent value proposition. While the immediate trend reflects a downside, the longer-term performance of ADA indicates a robust pattern. Things are indeed turning around. Also, the Cardano rally seems imminent since whale activity has been upbeat. Cardano recently recorded an increase in both the number and volume on large transactions, indicating a rising rally. According to the crypto intelligence portal Into the Block, the Cardano token hit a significant high in transactions valued at $100,000 or more. In just a day, these substantial transactions rose by 990, reaching a total of 6,460. The uptick in large-scale Cardano transactions coincided with the ADA coin price, which stood at $0.26 cents at the time. But this value is significant as it reflects the initial trading prices of the Cardano token on Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. This can be traced back to 2018, and before emotions burst open, let's go a little bit further. The price level holds considerable importance for experienced investors, who often seek to establish positions close to major benchmarks, permitting better risk management. It may be immature to beat our chests and claim an imminent price rally for Cardano ADA, but this is the crypto market and anything can happen. However, it is important to monitor the behavior of prices in this range to grasp a better understanding of the broader crypto market. Analyzing the impact of whale activity can offer valuable insights into market trends and potential price trajectories. These trends are looking good to secure a solid record for Cardano dominance. Well, things are not looking good for Cardano right now, especially with its most recent connection with the SEC. The effects of these impressive records on Cardano can melt anytime soon. After the SEC's allegations of ADA as a security, crypto exchanges swung into action delisting Cardano ADA. This was a major setback for the popular digital asset. A major crypto exchange, Huawei, announced the removal of Cardano trading pair from its platform. 
In an official announcement, Huboi cited its commitment to enhancing the trading experience for users as the rationale behind suspending several trading pairs. The only difference is that the availability of ADA for trading against USDT and Bitcoin will remain unaffected, suggesting that the removal of ADA is not solely based on a inherent problem with the token, but rather part of a broader strategic move by the exchange. Yes, this is not the first time that ADA has faced delisting in other crypto exchanges though, so the crypto market may be relatively muted. And Cardano has managed to hold on to substantial price levels that dates back to its listing on Binance in 2018. The SEC's interference with ADA and its classification as a security continues to be a thorn of uncertainty in the cryptocurrency's flesh. But as the situation unfolds, market enthusiasts will be closely watching for any further developments that may influence Cardano's direction. Irrespective of the distractions, Cardano is on the verge of setting a new record, and this is through its dominance. A higher dominance percentage suggests that a considerable amount of capital is flowing into that cryptocurrency, positioning it as a dominant player in the market. As a result, the increasing dominance of ADA could indicate a surge in investor sentiment and confidence in Cardano. In addition, ADA has managed to break through the 21 exponential moving average, a significant indicator used by traders to identify short-term price trends and potential areas of support or resistance. This successful breach suggests bullish momentum as ADA now moves towards the 50 EMA, another crucial milestone. Furthermore, the Relative Strength Index, a momentum oscillator used to measure speed and change of price movements, sits at 50 for ADA. This neutral position implies that buying and selling pressures are balanced out, potentially setting the stage for a decisive price move. However, the rising dominance of ADA can exert downward pressure on other cryptocurrencies. As capital shifts towards ADA, this could put a muffler on altcoins, while possibly boosting ADA's price. Nevertheless, when looking at crypto, one of the most unique and interesting ecosystems is the Cardano network. The coin captured the imagination of traders in 2021, running very hot right along with the rest of the crypto bubble. And it's just a pity that since then, we have seen crypto sell off viciously. The market capitalization of crypto was cut in half, and the Cardano price prediction of many experts was destroyed, as it slid down to nearly 25 cents. Now that we have recently seen some signs of life in the crypto sphere, and that the Cardano market capitalization is expected to reach above the $13 billion level again, it looks as if people are warming up to it once again. It is a great proof of state consensus that runs the Cardano blockchain, and the believers are out there anticipating a target of $100 eventually. Bitcoin's relative percentage of the total cryptocurrency market capitalization has hit 58%, its highest level since April of 2021, according to a new report. With a staggering $590 billion market capitalization, the world's leading cryptocurrency currently has further pushback on Ethereum and smaller altcoins. The total market cap for the industry currently sits at $1.2 trillion, according to CoinGecko. This comes amid the news of heightened regulatory scrutiny by the US regulators, who recently claimed a handful of cryptocurrencies were unregistered securities causing several to shade billions of dollars off their market capitalization. But Bitcoin has been leading a bullish rally over the past week after the BlackRock filed for a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund. The Wall Street colossus equally sparked Bitcoin rise in crypto market dominance and triggered investors to buy the asset despite many previously denied ETF applications. Cardano could ride on the wings of Bitcoin to scale and hit the peak, but the question remains whether Bitcoin is now strong enough to fly. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.